What's up guys? Welcome back to another Bug Catcher Carter YouTube video. Yesterday I opened up one of these Jirachi boxes that I found at Walmart for 20 bucks, which is the deal of a lifetime, I have to say. There was 10 packs in there and a few promos and a couple coins. And uh, if you saw the video, you saw that this is what I pulled here. So that, that was the promo card. Um, but these were my two best pulls from those packs. Um, I believe this was from either, it was either Fates Clyde or Breakpoint. Anyway, we'll look it up in just a second. And then this was from an Ultra Prism pack. And so I want to show you guys real quick, how do you know if what you pull out of a pack is worth anything? And um, this is kind of the process that I go through just to see what a card's value might be. So I'll introduce you to my resources here. These are kind of like the most basic resources that anyone probably uses, but if you're new to this, you might not know. So let's jump into it. So I start on tcgplayer.com, and this just has all sorts of trading cards, and it'll show you different sets and all the different cards that come in that set. It will also show you kind of market price based on some sources that they're aggregating together. That's not always the most accurate. Card value always depends mostly on condition and whether the card's been graded or not, which radically distorts what somebody might be charging. So you can't always go off of that, but it's kind of a good scale to place your card among some of the other cards that you might find. So let's see this Gardevoir, Mega Gardevoir, Gardevoir EX Full Art. I'm going to look that card up. Full art just means that you can see it's got like top to bottom art. There's no, um, on the other cards, you'll see like a header or a bottom kind of bar. So it's a full art card. And I think actually when I put full art, that might screw up the search. Let's just do this one. Okay. There's my card right there. That's the one. So it's as low as 433 and it says the market price is 435. If I scroll down here, I'll actually see listings of where I could buy this card. And if you go to the last page, I think that's the most expensive listings. Not always. And I'm not super familiar with these sources, but what we know is it's probably a $5 card. And that would be just in its raw form, just like this. Straight out of the pack, put it in a sleeve. It's in great condition. That's probably worth about five bucks. That's what TCG can kind of tell you um, just at a glance. That was from the pack Steam Siege, actually. Here's another thing real quick that I like to do is look up the different sets and just see what are the best cards in that set so I can rank it, market value, high to low. So I'm seeing the most valuable products up top. A lot of these are actual sealed product. But of the cards in this set, I actually pulled the second most valuable card in the set. So... That I love to use to just kind of understand like how good of a pull was it for the specific pack that you pulled it out of. And in this case, that's the second best card in the pack. The only better one is this uh, Secret Rare, which is pretty awesome. It's another Gardevoir EX. And Secret Rares are kind of like the, the cream of the crop. You have Ultra Rares, and you have Full Arts, and you have Secret Rares, and those are the hardest to find, typically the most sparse sparsely populated within the pack. Sorry, I keep shaking that thing. So our next step, we've seen this card and we've seen its market price from TCG Player. We go to eBay and we're gonna look up the same card because this is where people are actually selling it. And eBay has a function down here for completed and sold items. So make sure that those are checked. And this is telling you what has sold on the site in the last few days. So this is actually a really good gauge of what somebody would pay you for your card because they somebody has just paid this amount. So we're looking for the full art. So here it is. That's an ungraded card. Like I said, it has the strike through on 994. So it might have gone for a little cheaper than that. Let's see if we can find one. 650. So the the price on tcg player is pretty close and when i say a raw card that means it hasn't been graded it hasn't been put into a slab with like a grading label whether from p psa or beckett to show that that card has some credibility as far as its condition so a psa 10 card is like a pristine card 
that's going to be your highest grade for a PSA card, and we can look up what that would go for. Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art PSA 9, and that's 35 bucks. Usually there's a pretty big difference from 10 to 9. Let's see if we can find the exact same card in a 10. This is that Secret Rare, and this is a PSA 10, so that one was 131. Here's a PSA 10. 50 bucks. Same card. So this card, if I were to get it graded and it came fresh out the pack, let's say that the the like centering, which means like on the back of the card or front of the card with that border that you see around the edge, is it really well centered? Sometimes they cut the card and it's just not very well centered. And that actually can dock you on a PSA grading from like a 10 to a 9. And uh, if it's really bad, possibly an 8, but typically it'll be a 10 or a 9. Um, and then if there's no other damages, no other print errors, or some sometimes it's things that you can't control. But if that card were a PSA 10 and I submitted it, I could get 50 bucks out of it right now. And this one is actually a Mega Gardevoir. Not the full art, and somebody paid 123 and That one got bid way up. Which is really quite interesting, isn't it? Um, let's go back to here. I'm now curious that that card went for so much more than this one to see what card is that. That was just this card, which actually it says it should have a much lower value, although it is a split psychic fairy card, which is cool. Oh, so is this one. I didn't realize that when I first pulled it out. That's a cool split type. Anyway, don't know why that that one in PSA 10. Maybe somebody got a really good deal on this one. Let's keep looking here. Here's that same card. PSA 10, but it's strike through on 50. I don't know. Anyway, you're not always going to find absolute consistency here. But it is a good reference. This is why I say grading increases the value of a card by a lot um, even if this card got a nine it'd be i could probably easily sell it for 30 to 40 dollars um, and in its raw form nobody's going to pay more than eight bucks nine bucks for this because they can't guarantee that it's in great condition you need that credibility stamp of the like the slab and the label here okay let's move on to the next one also steam siege as you can tell from like this page on TCG Player. Not a lot of high ticket items in Steam Siege. This $9 card is a nice card, but then it drops off like pretty immediately. And it's not uncommon for full art cards or even just EX, GX, V cards to be in the $3 to $5 range. So the fact that that's really all you're dealing with here, this is why people are not super hot on Steam Siege. Um, that could change. It can always change. People weren't that hot on evolutions, and then evolutions kind of came full circle. Let's go to, so here's another way to search. You can go to advanced search, and I can click on, this came from a pack called Ultra Prism. Right here, it was a Sun and Moon series pack. And let's look at some of the best cards. There's some awesome cards in this set. People love it because of these two gold secret rares. Um, and then in addition to that, you have some evolutions that people love, Glaceon and Leafeon in Secret Rare. And then there's my Palkia card right there, and it's one of the better cards in the set. So there's only like, you know, a handful of cards, maybe eight cards better than that. So really lucky, awesome pull, and market value 1340. That gives me kind of an idea that if I just want to sell that card right now, I should probably try and get... 15 bucks out of it possibly if I'm feeling really confident about the condition I might be able to get that but if I were to get this graded let's see what we would be looking at so Palkia GX that's the name of the card and I'll put secret rare or just secret probably all right I'm not seeing it oh here it is, 150 bucks. That's the exact card I got. So somebody got that PSA graded. Keep in mind, this is sold completed items. So this has been sold. There has been a transaction for this card. 
in a PSA 10 for for 150 bucks. So I could take this card in value from 15 to 150 if I were to submit it, get it graded, and say it came back with a 10, with a pristine grade. That would be awesome. If it came back at a nine, I'm guessing you'll probably get, still get 50, maybe 60 bucks out of this thing. Um, yeah, 50 bucks. Nine to 10 is a big jump, but nines are always good too. Um, and you're always hoping for a nine or a 10 if you just pack fresh straight in a sleeve. It'd be disappointing to get an eight on that. It would have to do with centering or print marks or something outside of your control. It's always frustrating. Um, so that might be a card worth submitting if it's already 150 bucks. That's from a relatively new set that price may normalize a bit in the next Year because Pokemon hype is real right now, but still I would expect over time that to be a really good card um, I want to show you one more th source that's great for Looking up price history um, I just was introduced to this by another youtuber poker rev. So shout out to poker rev. Thanks for the hot tip um Let's look up, let's see if this works here, because I know, wait, yes, Palkia GX Ultra Prism Full Art Secret. I'm going to click on this card, and then we can look at kind of historical value for this card. And this is pulling in data from all these different sources that these cards are selling on. Um, we could also look up this Jirachi, too if this is gonna take too long. I'm just curious, cause this Jirachi is a promo card and everyone who bought this Walmart box now has it. So um, let's just see. Let's see here, Jirachi GX Full Art Promo. People are selling the boxes for 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 35 bucks. Check out your Walmart before you jump on these. It seems like a good deal, but they're they're $20 on Walmart. It's listed on the site for in-store price. If you can go to a store and pick up these boxes for 20 bucks, that's going to be the best deal you'll ever find in Pokemon. So Black Friday, and I think it's not even Black Friday, but they're putting them out there probably because Black Friday they're trying to mitigate some of the crowd that might be congregating. Actually, I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. $5, somebody, somebody bought it for $5. Also, people have bought this stuff for 60 40 45 so just always beware when you see like product flooding to the market and you're like oh that's a good deal like look into a little bit just to make sure that there's not some reason why all of a sudden people are selling these jirachi boxes because there is a reason and it's because they're at walmart but this could be a five dollar card which that's what it was on tcg player i'm still just shocked it seems like it's gonna have a really high population but i don't even know if we can find one that's been graded it might be too new of a card they might have released this card with this box now nah, it's got to have been around people don't always get cards like that graded right away though okay here's my palkia and this will tell me how many, what the population is of this card in different PSA grades. And that's because PSA keeps track of all this. They they see every card that comes through there, they grade it, and they, they kind of catalog how many exist. So there's only 81 PSA 10s of this card. If I submitted that and got it back 10, I'd be 82. And I don't know that that's like an extremely low population for the era, but... You at least know what you're working with. You know how rare of a card it is. And then you see quite a few nines and a lot of eights, no sevens, and one six. So like I said, if you pull this pack fresh, put it in a sleeve, and it's looking really good, it's going to be a nine or a ten almost every time. These eights, there, there's a few of them, but honestly, you don't know. Somebody might not have, like it could have had some whitening on the back edges or Maybe they did get a ding in it and they didn't realize it or scratching it and they didn't realize it or just really bad centering. And then here's sales history price over time. And uh, like I said, the PSA 10, it goes up to about 140. Of course, that's probably on very few data points. Like we saw that one sell for 149. That's probably what that's going off of. And then a price history of all the completed auctions here from eBay. So this is a really great source if you don't want to have to check 
all these different places you could probably just come here pokemonprice.com and check it out anyway so yeah we've looked up these two cards we feel like this card is probably a card worth submitting and i'm super pumped on that for a 20 dollar box i could poten potentially have a 150 fifty dollar card here so i love las vegas and gambling and that feels like gambling to me so what what fun Mix, mixing childhood nostalgia with games of chance it's just a perfect mix all right we'll wrap this up we'll be back with some more pack openings next time see you later bug catch crew peace out